What is going on, everyone? It is Afterburn from NetSec Now, presented by PentesterUniversity.org. So today I wanted to make a video for you guys, uh, since it's been a while, on actually getting the exploit DB exploits into Metasploit without having internet access. So, um, as you may or may not know, Kali Linux, the newest and greatest, latest and greatest, uh, actually has exploit DB built into it with a search function. And that's called Searchploit. So I'm going to show you how to not have to open a web browser and go online to get exploits into Metasploit itself. So very first thing you're going to need here is three terminals open. Uh, this one up here we're going to use for the Searchploit. This one up here we are going to use to copy everything over. And this one down here we're going to use to start Metasploit. So let me start Metasploit first and foremost. So of course it's service... Um, Postgres SQL start should take a minute here and then we'll do MSF console now you have to do this as root unfortunately to be able to move these files around just give me a second here Metasploit while that's starting up I want to introduce you to Searchsploit um, Searchsploit let's see here is a pretty powerful tool to query the uh, exploit DB database of all the current exploits that are actually published and out there. So now it takes a while sometimes for these exploits to actually make it to Ruby files to make it onto uh, Metasploit itself, uh, at least into the free version. So I'm going to show you how to do here is type in search exploit. Oops, I misspelled that. Attack U for update and it'll pull down all of the uh, packages with the latest and greatest exploits in there. Now, what we're going to do here is go in this terminal, and I'm going to show you where, if you're familiar with Backtrack Linux, you know that everything lived in a directory structure, and it was pretty straightforward. Uh, what I'm going to show you here now is, if you did LSAR, oh, actually, let's go to LSARL, and that's uh, list everything pretty much, including the hidden files with the dots in front of them. You're going to notice MS4 here. This is where Metasploit console lives in. And what I want to do is go over to there. So cd.msf4 ls inside of here. Now you're going to notice there's a folder in there called modules. cd over to modules. And you can see there's nothing in there. What we want to do here is make a directory first and foremost to start off with. And we're going to call that exploits. Make sure it took. Good. Now you can see that our updates actually finished here from pulling down all of our uh, exploit DB exploits themselves. And now you can see once we're logged into MSF console here, we only have 16, uh, 1641 uh, exploits, 1641. That's going to change here in just a minute. So with Searchploit, I want to search for, let's see, Searchploit, and I want to search for MS 15 100. It's a pretty common one. And you can see it splits out some information here. Let's go over that real quick. I'm pretty sure this, I confirmed that this works with Ruby files only, uh, not so much on the Python scripts as of right now, at least to my knowledge, don't quote me on that. Uh, but you can see that they're all stored in user, share, exploit DB platforms, and then their respective directories, subdirectories like this. So what I wanna do over here is create some sort of structure uh, in our modules directory. So CD over into the exploits, folder that we just created. Inside here, you can see that there's no files. What we're going to do is make directory, we're going to call Windows, and then we're going to go into Windows itself. We're going to make another directory called Remote, and the reason why we're going to make that directory called Remote is if you see here, we're following this naming convention here. So Windows, make directory Remote, and now you can ls and see we have Remote. So we're going to go ahead and cd into the remote directory. Now, once we're in here, we want to go ahead and copy everything from here and this directory here. So meaning we basically want to copy this file that's highlighted right now. So simply cp user share um, exploit oops, db platforms and then we want to go Windows and we want to do remote and then we want to do that file 38 195 
dot rb. Want to copy that over to root uh, ms oops dot ms f four dot modules dot windows oops dot uh, exploits windows and I'm typing this out the long way to show you guys so you don't get confused. I know sometimes I buzz along pretty quickly and uh, use shortcuts that you guys get confused on. So uh, let's see windows remote and then we'll leave it at that. And now if we ls inside here you can see that we have this same Ruby module uh, that was right here. Right. So now you may be asking yourself well great but how do we get it actually into exploit uh, into um, MSF console. Well, the first command you're going to want to do is update, oops, update db in a regular terminal, and that's going to update the uh, file location database throughout Linux itself or Kelly. And we're going to get out of our MSF console. And now, if we went back into MSF console, remember our number was 1,641 exploits. And if we went back into MSF console, oops typing too fast here. Hit enter. And starting the framework. And now you should notice that we have 1642 exploits, so it did add that one in there. And now if we were going to go search ms15-100 it in fact comes up in here and you can see that it's located in our directory here so uh, that's not a bad deal that's how to quickly add it from what you already have existing here uh, with the exploit DB that's included in Kali Linux and actually transport it over to uh, Kali Metasploit itself so you don't really need to go out and search the web and download and this, that, and the other thing. You can just kind of copy it from where it is right now. You actually have these exploits on your system currently. You just need to copy them on over to the actual Metasploit directory so you can use them in Metasploit themselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out our website, pentesteruniversity.org. I appreciate uh, all your support over the years, and I hope to see you at our school and possibly enrolled. Thanks for watching.